time. It's a good time. Yeah, like I, I actually, yeah, got up at 5 a.m. today, and uh, but, but I was like, okay, we are ranged at six, so so oh, I'm just no, going no to rest a little while. Should so. earlier is the better. <laughs> Okay, I mean, like, yeah, like, I'm not actually, um, uh, like, I, I, I'm not used to waking up early, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but I get used to it. Like, I don't like it, but I get used to it easily. That's oh. what. I mean. So, yeah, so, so like, I, mean, I don't like nighttime. Like, yeah. Like <laughs> so, okay, let's continue then where we left off yesterday. So. Let's do the third one. Don't lend Amy your car. How would you say that in Spanish? Okay, no. Don't, don't lend. No. No. No le, pre, no le presta. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No presta Amy tu carro. No le prestes. No le posi. No le prestes a, a Amy tu carro. Yeah, no le prestes a Amy tu carro. If she asked me, I wouldn't lend si. her money. Okay. Si me, okay, if she asked me. Si me, um, si me pide. Si ella mm, me lo oh, pidiera si. a mí. Si ella, um, how would you say it? Si ella. Si ella me lo pidiera a mí. Oh, me lo pidiera. Oh, she was, if she was, okay, if she was to ask me, okay, si ella me ask me for it, me lo um, pidiera. Yep. Okay. Si why, 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 why the me lo? I mean, it's just the, the, the natural way to say it, like, no, there I is No, I don't understand, just... but when do I get to use that? Hmm. Like... The verb. Is the verb. Is the it verb, the verb or, or anytime you're asking for something? Well, the other thing is that it's a subjunctive. That's a subjunctive thing. Mm -hmm. So, si ella me lo pidiera. I mean, like, like in Spanish, we, we, we say, if she asked it to me, you see? I mean, like, we, we don't actually say, if she asked me. We say, if she asked it to me, okay. then... I wouldn't lend her mine. Oh, if she asked it to me. Yeah, that's See, that's, that's the that's the thing I need to know. The, so in Spanish, if if she asks it. Mm -hmm. So those are are those like tell it to me or ask it to me or just just for um asking for. for right questions, now, right now I can only think of ask for asking something as in a polite request. Okay. 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 See, see, ella, Milo, Milo, Pidiera. Yes. Um, I wouldn't lend her mine. I wouldn't lend her mine. Okay. No, no presta, no presta, no prestaría, no le prestaría a ella El mío. El mío. El mío. 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 <laughs> Good. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that, was, that was a good one. Yes. So, if the computer... If the computer factory closed down... Okay. Si, um, si, el, si la fábrica de computadoras... Um, siriera... Siriera... Cerrara. Se, uh, cerrara. 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 Yes. Cerrara. Uh -huh. uh, many people would lose their jobs. Okay. Okay. Much, mucha gente um, perdería. Mucha gente perdería. Mucha gente perdería su, su trabajo. Su, su, su trabajo. Su trabajo. Su trabajo. Yeah, in Spanish it would, it would be like singular. Su trabajo. Yeah, su trabajo. See, as many people are gente in one. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. I don't think Gary and Emma will get married. Um, okay. 
Okay. Um, no, I don't think that phrase. I don't think it's a subjective trigger as well. Oh, see. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. So. Oh, even in the present tense, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that. I mean, like it's present, but it it, it will trigger a subjective after okay. I don't think. So we'll okay. get married. No, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. no creo que okay. Gary y Emma. Um, yeah. We'll get married. So that's reflexive, subjunctive. It, it's it's reflexive, subjunctive, and future. Uh, it, it, yeah, but subjunctive. The most important thing is the subjunctive part. Okay, okay. So, okay, no creo okay, que um, Gary y Emma um, se... Um, Uh, oh yeah, future subjunctive. <laughs> so yeah, future subjunctive. Cause, uh, um, cause, I'm just cause, going to say it here because because I mean like if you don't know it like it I don't I I don't think you can figure it out. No, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Marriage is um caserse. See? Yes. So. But the thing, the tricky part is that it's not only subjunctive but future at the same uh, time. I know, I know what it is. Ca, so, um, ca, but it's still caseran, say caseran. No, no creo. Se vayan a casar. Um, se vayan a casar. Yes. Okay, so what, you could what, say. What? Vajan, that would be the future part. Like you could say that the subjunctive part is not the verb, but the but the future thing. As so if, the, if it were the like some... so, where's the um trigger, the um subjunctive? Vajan, Vajan, yeah, but it's because it's future. So you see, like the future, the 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 the, the word that is in subjunctive is the future one, not the verb. Um, oh, well, the, the, the via. Exactly, yes. But, so how is it, then? So via is, okay, via caser, but it's... See, yeah, okay. and the reflexive part is say. I, oh, no, it's see. Tricky. But at the same time, you could say that it's easy because you could say that all the subjunctive in future is vagin, pretty much, I think, yeah. All so, the subjunctive in the future is vagin? I could say. Like, I mean, but say, I'm okay, if it, some if examples. it wasn't, yeah, because sorry. I mean, if, I don't if, if think, it wasn't, um, if it wasn't future, what would this be? What would the answer be? The subjunctive? No, the, just the subjunctive, no future. In present, then, a subjunctive in present. Okay, yeah. So then, an example, like, I want them to get me. No, them the same one. I don't think. Okay, there. Oh, oh. So you can't help putting it in a. Okay, let me see. So a present subjunctive would be I want them to get married. That's a present subjunctive. Okay. So okay. how do you say that? I want them to get married. Quiero que se casen. Se casen. Se casen. Sí. Mm -hmm. Casen. Oh, se casen. Yeah. Um, quiero que se... Okay, um, marriage is casarse, E-R, ends with an E-R. Casarse, yes. Casarse, se, okay. Se, yeah. Se, no. Quiero que se casen. Yeah, like at the very least, at the very least, uh, the se vayan a casar is the translation that you should use when you're using the I don't think subjunctive trigger. At the very least, in that very case scenario, I'm very sure that you will say vajan. For example, I don't think that you will get the job. How do you say oh. that in Spanish? Okay, no. Okay, no creo que... 
vayas a conseguir. Exactly. Ese trabajo. Oh, ese trabajo. Yes, that's perfect. I don't think you'll get a job. Oh, yeah, so anything, yeah. Well, uh, that's what I would use because that would be... See, my thing with this is I understand that part. Like, I don't think you're um, you're going to go. Is, um, mm -hmm. No creo que vaya a ir. You could say that, that you're but, not going to get the job. You could say that. No, that's, no, no, you're say... going to go, period. I'm just... I don't think you're going to go. No creo que... Um, vayas, you're going, vayas a ir. You're going to go. Or... Or se vayas a ir, you're going to leave. I don't think you're going to leave. You're just bluffing. Yeah, no creo que te vayas a ir. Te vayas a ir. I don't yeah. think you're going to leave. You're just pretending. Yeah. So, but my thing is, vayas is going. My my problem with the caserse is it says will. Cause like, like okay, for, for, for instance, um, I'm going to sing. Yo... Um, no, I will sing. Yo uh -huh. cantaré. Yeah. But I'm going to sing is uh -huh. voy a cantar. Yes. And in, in, the, in the oración, in the sentence, it says will get married. So that's a will. That's not a going. And that's what's confusing yeah. me with that. Yeah, I mean, Go, that's... Going to yeah, get it's... married is vaya, but will get married is a different... You know, you understand the two difference between going and will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need so to, to practice confusing. it. Like the, the only, the only, the only thing is that you need to practice. That that's why we do these exercises because it's yeah, just yeah. even for me that I know you could say ninety percent of 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 language. Uh, then, I mean, you just need to practice. There is no way out. Like it's yeah. important for me to think of all the case scenarios that. Yeah that you can run into in Spanish. It's just impossible for me to think of them in just one lesson. Yeah, I like, no, so, but I like these though. This, these are the ones that will trick me. This is the ones I need, I like them. So, okay, so let's continue. Let's do, okay, so I don't think Gary and Emma will get married. Um, I would be amazed if they did. Wow, amazed. Um, what's um? I would be. Um, yo, yo estaría uh, um amazed. Como? Yo estaría sorprendido. Oh, yo estaría sorprendido. Sorprendido. Well, if sorprendido. it's a woman. Sí. Okay. If, if they did see we would see. say if they did it if yes, they did it that's what I was wondering yeah if they if they did it okay si lo si lo hagan si lo hicieran si lo see if they were to do it okay yeah remember so if this if is yeah so remember that when when you find if and then uh, past tense. Oh, it's a past is, tense. It's the past tense subjunctive. That is subjunctive, yes. That's, that's what I think. Yes, I got to start using more past tense subjunctive. Yeah. Si okay. lo um, that's good. Yeah, hicieron. What would you do if you were in a lift? Okay. What would you do if... Okay. Okay. What would you do? Que, que harías? Mm -hmm. Se, que harías si you, you were in a lift? Si, what would you do okay. if you were in a lift? Si, if you, okay, que harías si, si fuera en un, Ascensor. So it's a location. A lift is a location. So that okay. would be si estuviera. Si, si estuviera. Si estuvieras. Estuvieras en un ascensor. Yes, and it stopped. 
E and it stopped. E e e lo e lo e lo paró. Y se detuviera. Huh? Y se detuviera. E and it stopped. How you say it? Yeah, se detuviera like this. Um. Oh, the um. Oh, and it stopped. So that that then it in the um pass. I know. Yeah. Okay. That see tuviera. Wow. He said that tuviera, and it stopped itself. Yes. Um. Between floors. Okay. Entre pisos. Yeah. Good. Um. Let me, so. Let me see this. What What would you do? Oh, que harías? Que harías? Si. Sí. Si, sí, si, sí, if you, if you were. Okay. One question yeah. with this word was. Um, or, if they asked me if you was, I, I could say estaba. Was? Uh, if, if you was. If he was. No, if you was. What would you do if you was in a lift? I mean, like, but we wouldn't. Would you say that in English? I mean, I don't think that's correct. No, you you would say were. No, no, that's cool. No, you uh, no, you're absolutely right. What would you, what would you do? So, if you were lift? so yeah, hey, you know what? I'm I'm thinking of something that might be that that might be that that you might like doing. Remind me when we finish the lesson in a bit. Okay. Okay. When we finish the lesson, I've got a proposition proposition for you, which okay. I think might be quite interesting for you. I, I, I was thinking, it's something that I've been thinking for some months now, and I haven't started doing it just yet, but I think that it might work for you, and okay. you would be the first student to do it, so. Okay. Okay, so if somebody gave me 10,000 pounds, Okay. Si, si alguien me, si alguien me, um, um, di, di, diar, diarra, diar. Si alguien me diera. Me diera. Mm -hmm. Diera. Si alguien me diera diez mil. Um, diez mil euro. Libras. Li oh, libras. Libras, okay. Mm -hmm. Libras, uh-huh. I would have a very long holiday. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, let's see. I, um, I would have. I, um, haría, yo haría. Um, you know, in, in Spanish, we would say, I would take a very long holiday. Okay, okay. So, Maria, um, un, um, to Maria, mm -hmm. una feriada or festival. So, remember that holiday, or it's like plural in Spanish. So, unas vacaciones. Oh, okay. Holiday, vacaciones. Unas vacaciones. Okay. Unas tomaría, yo tomaría unas vacaciones muy largas. Muy largas. Muy yeah. largas. Yeah. Yesterday, a friend of mine here in Medellín, he already, he retired here one year ago. And uh, he was showing me the penthouse that he wants to get. And I was like, dude, that's some really nice stuff. <laughs> like, <laughs> Where, oh, where's the penthouse? It said, "Have you been to Medellin?" No, but I've, 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 I'm always, I try to. Well, I don't know different malls and different location because you guys have a really big mall with an outside park. Yeah, with, with park I mean, like, yeah, yeah, it's um, it's in Poblado, like pretty much Poblado and Laureles are gringo areas, so. So uh, it, it's it, it's very nice because it's got a very nice view. It's got a pool. It's got everything. I was like, shit. I mean, that would be a very How nice. How much did he pay? 
I, I mean, like, I don't know, like we didn't, we didn't see a price, but my guess is 300, 400,000 USD. Oh, That's wow. my guess. Wow. That's my guess. But it's like, a, are you, are you familiar with square meters? Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with square meters. Okay, uh, so it's a 480 square meters place. So I mean, that's like it's like a mansion or set of. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it. This our well, our land, our is um, 2,500 square meters here. 20, 25? 2,500 is where I live on. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's that's yeah. that's huge. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the yard included, but we also the house is built is built up, so it's it's two stories. Nice, so nice. It's, um, let me see. I think yeah, it's it's four bedrooms, five bathrooms. Yeah, but I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense because your family is very big. That's the only reason I don't like it. It's more. It's too much to clean, and they're dirty. So, yeah, I mean, like, but but I mean, it, it makes sense. But for example, my friend, uh, he lives by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's what I. Yeah, by myself. That's what. I, that's all I do. Well, me and my like Odo. Now, although although he lives by himself, it's the first time that I have actually considered, like, eventually in twenty years, I don't know, to get a place like that for myself. I was like. This would be a nice place to live in. Like, why not? <laughs> oh, you, you don't want, you're not having a family? I don't think so. I, I actually got a vasectomy eight years ago. Oh, my God. So. I, see, the thing, <laughs> the thing with, 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 like, America and all of these impoverished, they don't, they don't encourage that. That it's, the, the culture is anti that. Like, it's, it's, mal, it's, it's, it's blasphemy. You it's know. what to have kids it, uh, to to not no to not have it to not have it seriously i mean like yeah you're not promote it, that the, the the society the everything promotes having a, a a bunch of kids well it, that's when i was coming up that was the case you mm -hmm. know your mother everyone every time you do something wrong everyone your punishment is wait till you have your own kids and your own wife you're gonna learn <laughs> so it's like it's like that's definitely have to happen. Right. But I think a lot of us needed to know that it's okay not to have a whole bunch of kids or any. I mean, like if it makes you happy, I mean yeah. I, I'm, no, I'm, it I'm made, just not it, a fan it, of kids. Like I don't I don't actually like kids to be honest. So so I mean like it's been eight years now and I like like every year I'm more convinced that that I that I made a very good decision. Like I'm, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah. Like, 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 like I live right now. Yeah. So I, I might change my mind. No, you don't, never don't know. change your mind. Don't change your mind. You might agree. <laughs> but uh, I mean, there are many kids who who would love to have a family. I mean, like, 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 uh, how do you call that? Foster, foster care. Um, yes. So I mean, like, I, I would be happy if I can afford having ten kids who. Who who didn't have a family who, who who which like which could raise them appropriately like I would love to do that if I can, yeah. uh, and I would do it eventually if I can afford it. But that's a whole different story. Like as opposed to having kids at, at an early age, which I don't think it's a good idea. So yeah. so yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. I love I love yeah. how the new the, I love how the millennials are thinking, man. It's it's logical. It's not emotional. It's, yeah, I mean we're trying to at least. <laughs> it's very good. So let's do this one. We've decided to catch ten thirty train. Okay. Um, we've decided. Hemos decidido. No. Hemos decidido. No. Not um, no tomar el tren de las diez y media. You remember it? Good, good, good. Oh, I, 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 I was like, it's familiar. But, um, <laughs> what I, what I did help, and see, that's one thing when we rush through it, I can't really lock it in. But this mm -hmm. one, I, it it just clicked that you said um, de de las diez yeah. y media, and that clicked. Well, you know, right. you get better and better with repetition and, and thing. I love that. I mean, repetition is a matter of skill. So, yeah, <laughs> in everything. So there is something to to mention. 
In Colombia, it's okay to say coger el tren de las diez y media. Okay, in, okay. Colombia. in Colombia, you can say that. Now, I'm not so sure about Spain, Mexico, or Argentina. Okay. Okay, because they might they might understand that like 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 we've decided not to fuck the ten thirty train. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, Mexico, I think they understand coger, but um, <laughs> but here when everything is tomar 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 for todo. Okay, so so you 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 would probably be uh like people might might understand it as like to cat to fuck the ten thirty train if you said coger. In, oh, oh, in yeah. Panama. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the thing. And people say, man, just speak Spanish. Don't worry about making mistakes. And then they tell you, you got to watch out with some of them words. So I'm like, that's <laughs> why I just don't say anything. Because... I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, a foreigner can get away with mistakes more than a, than a local can. Okay, it's understandable, yeah. right? I mean, I think just as in English, like if, if you hear someone is not actually a native English speaker, you you don't mind if he if he or she makes mistakes because you know that it's not their native language. So you can you can like okay he made a mistake but it's not his native language. So the same happens with us like like if if we see that it's a foreigner you you're like okay he made a mistake but I mean he's a, at least he's learning at least he's trying. There are so many people who don't even try learning a new language in their whole lives. I mean there are people who who think. That that they that why should they learn a new language? Like the that's their mindset. No, that's that's most of the people I know. So, um, yeah. but you got a good, you have a very good disposition. It's not like that. I mean, I love Panama, no, but um, I mean, I gotta say I love them for the same reason because they're very open-minded when it comes to the second language because they're passionate about learning English. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm, 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 learning because English of, is a very big business here. Yeah, that's what, what what I was going. Like you, you have told me that in Panama, there actually that you can actually actually see that the country is in the process of being English, an English speaking country, yeah, and in, in the Spanish. Next 10, 15 years. Uh -huh. And and you can see it. Like you can actually see it. But here in Colombia, our politicians are all the time saying that in 15, 20 years we're going to be a bilingual country. But I mean, there's no way in hell that's going to happen. No. <laughs> I mean, you don't see the process that you are watching happen in Panama. Like, I mean, people are lazy. They hate English. Like, like the people who can afford learning English, they're lazy. They're not disciplined. So I'm like, all the people I know, all the people I know, I'm like, mate, there are 200 fucking 50 lessons on my channel right now. They're completely free. I tell my friends, if you've got any question, ask me. I'm not going to charge you for that. Yeah. And they will See, learn. I can, I can show you right now. My tr my kid's trampoline is in the way, but I'm there's an English class right outside my window right there taking up half of the block. Okay. And that, okay. it's an English school. Okay. In Panama, in in a whole Panamanian community, like it's it's everywhere. Like it's a it's an old English it's an English building. Like it's where you come to learn English. The whole half of this whole street here is is an English school. Yeah, I mean, like, there are many, many English schools here in Colombia as well, but but people just aren't disciplined enough to to stay to the programs. Oh, yeah, and when they, all the stores, all the stores are English names. Like, like, for example, here people, they start, and the very few who who finish their programs, they don't, they don't actually learn how to self- how would you say that to to, Ind to sell um, independently? Um, yeah, because exactly like like they finish a program and in one or two years they forget seventy percent of what they learned. Yeah, so they I, lose. I've been there like at, at the beginning. Honestly, it's not that I was trying to neglect it. It's that life happens. You know, yeah. life happens, and you can't focus on whatever your goals were. That's why I tell every student who starts from sc from scratch, I'll, I tell them like, hey, look, this is the deal. If you're going to start learning English or Spanish, this is this is a marriage. Yes. So this is for life. This is yes. for life. If you're not committed to practice English or Spanish the rest of your life, you're going to lose your money. What you're paying me right now, you're going yes. to lose. 
Yeah. Because time and the effort, the everything, you're going to lose it. Even if you actually learn after finishing the lessons with me, because you've got to keep practicing. Like that's yeah, actually yeah. one of the programs that I've got, like that, that I focus on some other activities aside from doing advanced grammar lessons. It's because of that, because people need to keep on practicing. And I know that, that part of that's it is because t-shirt. some people- You gotta get a t-shirt, I'm gonna get you a t-shirt. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's that's pretty much it. So, okay, let's do this last uh, this exercise to wrap things up, and uh, we'll okay. continue tomorrow. So, if we caught the ten thirty train, we'd arrive too early. Okay. If okay, okay. See if we um if we were to catch uh -huh. see we co coher cor Cogeríamos. So remember that it's better for you to say tomáramos. Si tomáramos. Okay, tomáramos. Okay. Okay. Si tomáramos. Si tomáramos el tren de las diez y media. Yeah. Um, we we'd arrive. Um, we we okay. Uh, llegaría llegaríamos. Mm -hmm. Demasiado temprano. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. so, man, I'll talk to you tomorrow, same time. Yeah, you, um, what were you said? You, you think you have something that can help my Spanish? The, the, oh, hold up. Let me stop the recording.